Next, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Uh, Udayan Gangli from CESC. CSC, for those of you who may or may not remember, was one of the early pioneers in a lot of smart grid efforts with US TDA uh, support. And they're a private utility for Kolkata. And in fact, over 100 years old, if I remember correctly. It's one, more than 120 years old. One of the oldest utilities in the world. So, good up. Shall I start? Please. So and I, I, I'm not giving formal introductions. Uh, the bios are with everyone. But if there's anything of relevance that you'd like to share on your work or background, please request you to do the same. No, I'll get into the presentation straight away. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the flavor that I've got all over India uh, that AMI is essentially for uh, sourcing meter readings in a more secure manner. So people are as if uh, visualizing uh, AMI, AMI as AMR plus only. So I would just focused uh, because uh, the time positive because of paucity of time, I'll just focus on the results and try and capture what all innovative things can be done in, ad in addition to sourcing readings that we have done. And all that I'll be showcasing is nothing from the book or the internet. It's from real life that we have practiced and we are continuing to practice. So uh, for the facts, we have uh, two deployments done. Uh, one is 70,000 odd meters on RF mesh in Kota, where 45 network devices have been installed to take care of the entire 2 lakh uh, uh, target. So entire Kota city has been covered uh, by 45 network devices only. This is an important point to be kept in mind. And uh, we have already deployed 70,000 meters on RF mesh. I mean, uh, this is, these are single phase and polyphase whole current meters, as well as 300 DTRs have been uh, put, uh, 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 DTRs have been indexed. So this is important. So around uh, 2,500 DTRs have been equipped with smart meters, out of which 300 DTRs have been indexed. Can you clarify? why it's 12,000 consumers yet 70,000 meters? Sorry, am I misunderstanding? No, when I'm talking of indexation, it okay, is that's for indexation. That, that's related to the 300 indexation. Okay, so, so from the 300, those are the leading to 12,000 index. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, as uh, for the basic vanilla requirement, yes, our billing reading success rate is 99.8% and that is absolutely stable day in and day out. So this is a, a unique feature of the technology that we have deployed there. Uh, the communication infrastructure is really self-filling and auto-reconfiguring -re that we have seen during outages from a particular network devices. It is seamlessly taking care of the remaining remainder part of the network. Uh, <clears throat> we have done distribution automation integration as well on the network. That means we are switching off, switching on feeders remotely uh, through this <coughs> AMI network as well. So this is multi-application in the utility domain. Over the air, over the air, uh, RTC synchronization is being done. It's being done automatically. Uh, and if, if there are errant meters, we can do it forcefully again over the year, uh, over the air as well. Uh, practically no maintenance efforts in, uh, for the communication infrastructure. People who would be deploying smart meters should bear it in mind that whatever technology you deploy is not only 99.8% that is important, it is also important how much manpower effort you are deploying in addition to maintaining meters, the network infrastructure, because that is the additional component that would come in and uh, in, uh, will give you pains. Now, the, the vanilla requirement, 100% correct and transparent billing, we had, uh, not in Kolkata though, but in Kota we had a lot of collusion with the uh, meter readers. Like you are consuming 2,000 units, you are billed for 200 and you give me 500 rupees a month. So that is the way I build up my uh, understanding and the rapport with the consumers. So this is how, uh, when you outsource it, uh, uh, this, this happens uh, and th this is prevalent in India. So this is one big thing that, uh, 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 that is removed the w once you deploy smart meters effectively. Uh, provisional bills, uh, this is a quota figure, 
uh, provisional bills means you are billing on average consumption and uh, uh, for, for uh, quota the figure was 10 percent either you were uh, not able to reach the premises to read the meters the meter premises was locked or there was in, in, uh, intentional collusion so you couldn't read the meters from 10 percent it has come down to 0.3 percent significant improvement uh, uh, easier grievance redressal now uh, so long in quota uh, and also in Kolkata, uh, meter readers, uh, uh, you, you send bills in quota every two months. So after you receive a bill, uh, uh, for two, uh, a two-month bill, you are surprised. Invariably, in all, uh, every month you get, get this surprise. So now you can see your consumption every day, how you are consuming. And you can also see every 15 minutes how you are deploying your gadgets in-house. So when you are complaining, you are also looking into that because you have been given a portal. You can also log in and, and see uh, wh how you have consumed. So questions, queries, doubts, these are redressed straight away. And transparency, because you get to know the reading every day. So you need not go to the meter and see the reading. So these are big handles uh, based on which grievance has reduced and grievance redressal has also become easier. When you point out from the graph that this is how you have consumed and this is why your consumption has increased, consumers are readily, uh, uh, red, uh, consumers readily agree to that uh, uh, explanation. And it's, all, it's known to everybody that uh, meter to cash cycle has been reduced. For us in quota, it has been reduced by three days, which is significant uh, to start with. And the important tool the consumers are having right now, they are able to budget their consumption. Whether they are really doing it or not, time will really say, but with the consumption viewing capability, every 15 minute capability that you have built in, in the app, it is the consumer, if judiciously they utilize their electricity, there is a potential to reduce the consumption by 10 to 15 percent. This is possible. <clears throat> this is one glimpse of the graph, what the consumer is seeing every day. These bars are everyday consumption against the dates. And this is the, the green dots are everyday midnight readings. So you get to know the reading every day. This is, this is the KVAH reading, the green is a K, KWH reading, and if you are a net metered consumer, uh, pr rather a prosumer, then you can see your uh, everyday export from the blue line. You can click here in any, any bar, and you can get the 15 minute consumption for that particular day. So this is a huge advantage. This is uh, just by clicking, you get to know when you have switched on your geyser possibly. Okay, and maybe at night when you have switched on your ACs. So you get to know how much you are using ACs. More importantly, when you are not at house, whether your servants are misusing electricity, that you also get to know. So these are important parameters, handles over which if the consumer is aware and made aware as well, they can optimize on the electricity usage. And delaying obsolescence. Meter program configuration from remote. We have done it. We have done it. Uh, we have done it. And we are doing it. Net metering is done over the year, over the air. So any consumer, first of all, which starts with a forwarded energy meter, is converted into a net meter with a click of a mouse. And that is done from remote. You do not require to change the meter and send crew there, or the consumer need not buy another meter. So meters are getting changed into net meter over the air. Display parameters and sequence, this has been changed. We, we have found. There was a defect in the meter configuration for some DT meters. We could do it over the air for all those DT meters. We did not go to site and change through MRI. So this is an important thing that we have implemented and seen the effectiveness of. Net metering I've already discussed. Farmer upgrades we, we have carried out uh, to the extent for trial. Uh, and <coughs> also these meters are smart prepayment ready. Prepayment that we are using conventionally is a thick meter. Thick meter means the billing intelligence is built into the meter. Whereas in the smart meter regime, the billing intelligence will remain, reside in the server. And you only need the capability to, to switch off, switch on, based on the inputs that your consumption would throw up. So, uh, it, um, hmm? Two minutes, please. let me try. Okay, so, uh, so uh, it is important uh, to note that for smart meter rollout in India, we had 
been forced by the technology and the system to go in for a flat <coughs> tariff. Whereas our post-paid con consumers are having a step tariff. And always there is an inflection point of a post-paid tariff and a flat tariff. And if, with every change, this threshold changes. And some consumers who were in prepaid mode, they felt that with the change in tariff, now they can go get into the prepaid mode and a, a prepaid consumer getting into the postpaid mode and postpaid consumer getting into the prepaid mode. This hunting goes on. So once you are into the smart pre prepayment mode and you, you follow the pre postpaid tariff, it's the same tariff in fact, a step one, then these issues will, these issues will not crop up. Here is an example of a net meter consumer where you can see during the day how he, the magenta color is indicating how he is exporting energy. So this, this visibility is there for the consumer to see as well. Distribution loss monitoring. There has been a sea change in loss monitoring, I tell you. This is a very innovative thing with smart meters. We can do consumer indexing like this. Consumer indexation, people who are aware, is a very painful job. You switch off the network or the distribution transformer, then you walk by every household to see whether the switch, uh, it has been switched off, and then you take note of the meter numbers, come back and you develop the, the table, the, the Excel sheet, whereby the parent DT meter has so many child meters, and these are the numbers, and you do the energy auditing. With smart meters, with fast breath coming in, 100%, you switch off a DT for 10 minutes, switch it on after 10 minutes, you get those fast breaths, and these fast breaths will ensure that which all consumers, which all children are electrically connected to the meter. So it's a matter of only 10, 15 minutes that you deploy, and you need not go to site as well. So this is how you can do the consumer indexation, and we have done it for 300 DTs. So this is a sea change that has brought about, I've been brought about with uh, the AMI. And you get near real time, sorry, near real time loss profile. I'll get into the, uh, the picture. And you can now uh, focus your anti pilfer drives and distribution loss can be reduced significantly and we have reduced for a subdivision significantly. 6% of losses we could reduce. People ask if I install a smart meter, will my loss come down? And now, they are skeptics speaking. I, sh I, I, I answer yes, a big yes and a big no. Big yes because the moment you install a smart meter, all your reading related issues, reading sourcing issues, provisional billing issues come to a zero straight away and you improve upon your loss figures. But the remainder part, you have to slog. You get to know which are your potential uh, 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 pilfer prone DTs. What are your prioritized list? Then you go to the site and engage and try and detect those leakages physically. The more effort you put, the more returns you get. So it's a two way thing, A plus B. <coughs> And this is, this is the loss profile. Now, we used to do conventional indexation, and maybe at the end of the month or maybe at the end of the week, you used to get a loss figure, an average loss figure. But here with smart meter, you can see the indigo line is a sent out. This is a full day from night to night. And the green, light, green line is the summated energy of the, all the children meters. And you see the loss profile every 15 minutes. Now, why the hell this loss profile is important, the 15 minutes? Uh, uh, the, the, the average figure would have been OK. But if you carefully look, this figure doesn't bring it out very clearly. But we have seen for cases that loss figures indicate a pattern. Like here also, if you see that the loss figure at night is higher than during the commercial usage. And here also, it's higher. So that means whatever tampering or pilferage is happening is in the domestic sector. Maybe people are hooking, the, on, hooking their ACs. So this is how you can pinpoint your operation. So this will throw up a lot of things. In other cases, there could be the loss figure higher during the commercial usage period as well. <clears throat> this is a unique thing where automatic power factor correct correctors are being deployed in, in, in CESC. And you see here, these bars, these bars are essentially KWH, whereas these bars are essentially KVH. So there is a gap. So once you install the power factor correct, correction, after that, this is coming to almost equal. That means they are unity. So why is this important? It's important once you have deployed a power factor correction system, whether it is working or not, that is important. So 
through this mechanism over a period of time you can monitor that if there is a departure like this then you get to know that the, the, the APFC is not functioning so this is a huge relief for the operations team to monitor then this is again a real life case we have found in Jodhpur Park that a consumer was having a 400 volt load sorry uh, for 400 voltage appearing across its 230 volt expected 230 volt terminals and we po pointed it out to the operations team they went there and addressed the floating neutral and it was redressed all from remote we could get to know that even before the customer could in this particular case understand that there was a problem at the metering point so these are huge benefits and reliefs people need to think beyond just sourcing meter readings now this is another case where a DT this is the normal capacity line of the DT and you see how much of overloading is there and how much of unbalancing is there the blue phase and the red phase quite apart and you see the ampere here is 187 in the red phase and 97 in the blue phase at that particular instant so these are reliefs these are health monitoring tools for your assets you can now know the blood pressure the sugar and the pulse bit of your equipment so that if you are able to control this you can control or outage your RM expenses let us think in this line and your capex as well so this is one picture this is a real life picture we could show them uh, show you all this unfortunately because of technology uh, uh, this is not happening now here the dt's have been classified into less than 20 percent green so, so such, such and such and there is a blinking one more than 120 percent you can see as a snapshot how many dt's are more than 120 percent and are there green dt's nearby so you can offload the uh, load there and you can dynamically monitor it think of a scenario in a win winter month if you are doing this planning you can de definitely pass the smarter, uh, sm uh, summer with flying colors so what data and information and AMI helps you is evident here this is one transformation with DT metering and here it's not only AMI it is also AMR this is in CESC we used to procure around 481 DTs I 480 odd DTs uh, a year it has come down to 82 DTs DT failure was from 68 to 36 significant improvement by managing operations intelligently by riding on data and by swapping DTs by changing DTs by identifying uh, lo lowly loaded DTs changing the highly loaded DTs so the entire operation is riding on this data this is important AMI technology we can select but ultimately whether we are really utilizing the data for the benefit of the operation and improving the efficiency of operation that is important loss is definitely an indicator but operational costs are also very very big enablers for the utility to go in for AMI so this is one indication of the outage here we can straight away know from the meters and this is a real life screen the red, red the, uh, the portion is the currently going on outage that is happening. The balance is outage has been restored. The moment the outage is there, you get to know the outage. And through this outage, you can identify isolated outages, widespread outages, and nested outages. And again, if you take it to the next level, we have not got, got into that level, whereby you can scope outages based on a few uh, uh, outage alerts that you receive you can scope whether it is a large outage whether it's a DT failure or a junction box failure or your local failure accordingly you can send your skill of the crew not all crew of the utility are equally skilled so this is one so here metering defects can also be uh, here there is a registered jump cases uh, detected metering defects can be uh, detected from just from the remote here is an important enabler that we have devised there are in every utilities consumers who are essentially domestic but using it for commercial purpose we are from the data analysis identifying patterns whereby during the commercial use we have significant use whereby in the domestic period there is hardly any use and we have identified it we have tuned the formula uh, system logic in such a way that with site verification we have found it is 98 percent correct now we can detect such cases with absolute ease and you see for 230 cases we have we have we have realized five lakhs annually year on year a possibility on a 3.2 million base meter base is 20 to 25 crores annually year on year this is a huge relief 
So these are drastic drop in consumptions that you get to know and you go to site. These are erratic consumption patterns, people are pilfering electricity, so you keep and watch and you just go to site. Nowadays what is happening prior to AMI, you are absolutely blindfolded and you are based on inputs the neighbor gives that he is pilfering electricity, he is doing something. Now you get to know what he is doing, when he is doing and how to really uh, nab that person. So uh, overdrawal of consumers. There is a sanction load concept or a contractual demand. You exceed the contractual demand. And here, we, from 4,300 consumers, 7 lakh revenue was annually uh, obtained by regularization. And a projected revenue, again, 20 to 25 crores annually. Meter tamper data analysis, catching the miscreants, can be done absolutely easily. Not 100% need to be converted into actual crook cases, at least if 20% success can be obtained, whereby you sieve out cases and you go to site, out of 100 cases you catch 20, that is enough incentive to go in for this. And then dynamic status monitoring, in every utility there are ghost meters, people install meter, don't put it in the billing files, this is intentional so, or inadvertent. If the network is Ganguly enabled. Sir. So I believe if someone from the organizers is here, they will get your slides. Uh, they, they will get it. So, you may not need to go through every point. Uh, but this the is the key, key one. Key point, this sure. is a key point. Discovered meters, any meter which has not been put into the billing file will be shown as flagged as a discovered meter so that you can go there and regularize it. So this is an important uh, a use case that we have found out. Then you have unreachable meters. Meters were sending data. We call them active meters. <laughs> Suddenly they are unreachable. That means they are bypassing the metering. People ask me that if a, meet, a consumer bypasses the meter uh, uh, earlier, then how the smart meter will be smart enough to detect? The, the consumption data will tell. And these unreachable meters will tell you that they have done it. So this is enough evidence to work on that. Then you have a unique case of deliberately burned meters. In hostels in Kota, they burn the, they use uh, ACs throughout the summer. At the end of the summer, before the billing, they just burn the meters and, and go, go to the utilities office and they say that my meter has got burnt and you just charge me average. So you used to charge only average or the usual consumption. But now the last four hour reading is available with us. So this is a big disincentive for the cons consumers now. This is on that, going down now. So <clears throat> there are service disconnection cases where we find that our own people have gone there and not disconnected the supply by colluding with the consumer. Or they have done it, the consumer has intentionally put it back. They have restored supply. So these are now available. You can see the advances. Uh, very, very clearly. So this is a, a very, in a nutshell, what we wanted to achieve through smart meters beyond just sourcing meter readings. This is all. Thank you.